I know what to do. She's a vixen. She's devious. And she's a suicide girl. This character is different from anything I've played in it. It definitely pushes the envelope more than anything I've been a part of before. So how does an actress become an underground diva? As part of her research for the role of Danny in the new Showtime series Californication, Rachel Miner had a little three-on-one with some of the real suicide girls. I am a lot more of a prude than my character is, so <laughs> this has been quite a challenge. I've got a bunch of questions for you guys. Tell me a little bit about how Suicide Girls started. The girls that I knew were so beautiful and that there was no place for them to be themselves and to be celebrated for being beautiful. So created Suicide Girls as a place to take sort of pinup style photos of them. How did you come up with the name? People just think it has like you know, these dark, sinister undertones, but it really has so much more meaning. It was in a Chuck Palahniuk book. It's also a term committing social suicide. Also, there's an old NXS song called Suicidal Blonde being a suicide girl, how does that change your personal relationships, how people react to you? Oh my God, are you a suicide girl? There's kind of a, this like attitude that they expect you to have. You're really tough and you're like not afraid of what anybody thinks and you're like just really like self-aware and proud of who you are and so a lot of people are like, wow, that's cool. With my character, she's kind of into like S&M stuff and all of that. <laughs> Do with it what you will. Is that common with the Suicide Girls? It's not uncommon for girls to enjoy that sort of play. So you guys created a little page for my character, Danny. She's definitely in control. She knows what she wants. And she seems very well read from the books that they listed in the profile. Are there other kind of in the closet suicide girls, kind of like my character? There's, you know, there's some girls that, that lead, lead kind of double lives. Yeah, there's a lot of people that... Very top that, secret. That don't tell anybody, but then there's people like, you know, their mom is a member. There's suicide girls in every city across the world. You always kind of felt like the outsider or the person that, that didn't quite fit in, but now that you know that there's a whole world of people that you can identify with, it allows you to feel more confident being yourself. There's part of the site for everyone. I'm not weird. Like, there are people that like the things that I like. Once people get it, they're like, oh, now I see, but it sometimes takes a long time for them to, to come to that realization. From now on, if I make a mistake or I screw something up, feel free to discipline me in whatever way you see fit.